Object Action Language, OAL, supports four native types. The four types are integer, string, real, and boolean. There are some other types that are used, but these are the core types similar to what you might find with C's, int, and uh, you know, other languages that have the, the very basic types. And so we can assign types to very uh, uh, type values to variables. So here I have assigned the value, the variable s1 to the value hello. s2 I will assign to world. And notice that in object action language every statement ends with a with a semicolon there. That marks the end of the statement. In uh, action language, the typing is implicit. It's an implicitly typed language, meaning that I do not have to declare my variables. My variables get the type based on what I assign to them. So now the variable i is of type integer. I can set n equal to 10. That will be an integer. I could set a variable pi equal to 3.14. And since uh, the right-hand side is a real value, then pi uh, is implicitly typed as, as a real in this case. Uh, I will assign a boolean. Um, go on equals true. And uh, do not equals false. Again, I save my values by hitting Control S, and I know my buffer is saved when that little asterisk next to the name of the buffer goes away. I'm hitting Control S, and it saved my buffer. So the four types are integer, string, real, and boolean. And the language is implicitly typed, and I've given one example of each of those types, just setting those values to variables. In a moment, we'll do a little bit more and uh, write a program that we can run.